Senator Manto, can I just quickly clarify? Did I hear you say that you helped rig elections before now? Uh, let, let me tell you one thing. Yes. Yes. I did. Because I'm now confessing the truth. I, 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 look, what, what do I mean? I don't have to go and change elections. But you know when you provide money, you give money to INEC boys to help you if they see any chance that they, 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 they should uh, favor you, you provide money to the security. Any, all our elections in the past, I've been in this game for about 40 years. And I tell you, each time, it's not necessarily when I'm contesting election, but when my party sponsors a candidate. I would like that candidate to win election. And what, what we used to do before, we make provision for INEC, we make provision for security, we make provision for even agents of other parties, you know, so that they will, so that they will not you know, raise any objection to uh, whatever we are able to get. So whether I, do, I, I, I rig myself or not, by providing those resources, financial uh, inducement to the officials, I am rigging election. Do you think that we can diminish or remove that influence as 2019 approaches? I believe so because, you see, if people are born again like me and they refuse to do it, if we, the players, the, unless we give before somebody will take, right? So don't give and then we will not get a taker. We will not get a taker. The most, why, you will not even ask me why am I thinking this way. Look, I am tired of being, work, of being seen as a criminal in the streets of the world because we are a Nigerian. You know, you assume that everybody is an innocent human being until he, it's, it's proven otherwise. But once you are outside this country with a green passport and they see that you are a Nigerian, even if you are a pastor or you are an imam, they will assume that you are criminally minded or you have criminal tendencies just because of where you come from. That must change. I am tired of living in poverty in the midst of plenty. I cannot, even no matter how much you have, every day you see people coming to you, relations, friends, this and that. My wife has given birth. My, my mother is in the hospital, this and that, every day. But if everybody had enough to take care of himself or herself, they won't come bothering you to say, give me this, give me that. And I believe that we have the, we, we have the resources that people can live a decent life without being beggars to uh, those who have, uh, just because we haven't gotten our own uh, uh, governance system right. So we need good governance, and good governance can only be provided by good people, good people who are truly repentant, who actually are there to serve the people, who are concerned about the well-being of the people, being the primary concern of the well-being of the people. Then when we have that leader, that, such leaders, I can tell you they will judiciously and prudently use our resources for the common good of everybody.